Hi everyone, we're back with another edition of Ask a Zookeeper, except this edition is a little bit different because we actually have two zookeepers here. What a treat. My name is Steve, I work as a zookeeper, and this is my coworker Amanda. Hello. Um, both of us work together taking care of birds and lots of other animals. Uh, we have a lot of conversations and a lot of interest in bio <laughs> biology, biology, and uh, so we have a lot of conversations about that, and we'd like to bring you in on one of our conversations and see how it goes. Did you have a question, or did we actually not decide before I did that? We did not decide. <laughs> All right. That's why I was like, okay. Um, do, you, do you want to know anything about, like... Other types of animals, like sea animals. I know, right? Usually a lot of your, I'm like... A lot of your questions are about sea animals. I actually yeah. studied marine biology, so I theoretically know more about sea animals than I do about birds. Um, I was always really confused by the bird lessons in class because they would describe something like the bird respiratory system, and I'd be like, okay, that made no sense whatsoever. Can we talk about sea urchins now? Because that's what's interesting. All right. Well, if you're bringing up respiratory systems, yeah, bird respiratory systems. No, are no, so, sea creature. So oh, sea creature respiratory. Yeah, okay, because yeah. I mean they're filtering the oxygen in the water, not in the air. Yeah, that is unfamiliar to me. Okay, but I'm sure they're not all the same. Can we pick like a seahorse? Seahorses are fish. Um, they take in water through their mouth and pass it over their gills. They have two bony opercula, like two bony covers and uh, gill slits, and they open up their opercula, water shoots out the back, they close their opercula, pump in more water. Oh, okay. It's pretty simple. Seahorses, a uh, funny story about seahorses, are terrible, terrible swimmers. They are so bad at swimming. Is that why they just hold on to the yes. things yeah. all the time? Yeah, that's why they hang on to things all the time. Um, I worked in an aquarium as a volunteer, and we actually fed the, the seahorses. So we'd have to turn off the water current in the in the aquarium. And the seahorses knew that that was when feeding time was. So they would all like rise out of the, the grass at the same time. It was really pretty and really cute. And you'd put in brine shrimp at the top, and then they, they like swim as hard as they can, but they're barely moving. And then they grab a, a brine shrimp with their mouth. So, yeah, it's uh, fun to watch seahorses eat, but they're really, really bad at eating. I have no idea how they survive. That's awesome. I would like to see video of this. Sure. Okay, what about the respiratory system of something like a sea star? Ah. Ah. Or a sea cucumber. <laughs> no, that's a really good. No, a sea star is a good one. Um, they have a hole in the top. It's called a madre porite. Things Some like, Latin word? <laughs> I know. It's, it's, madre is like mother and porite is like whole. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, huh. it's exactly Latin. Just what it, it, a thing in science words is that they'll name something in Latin and you think it's really fancy, but then when you hear it translated into English, it's just the thing that you said in English translated <laughs> to Latin. So you're like, what's that like brown bird that makes a loud noise? And then they're like, blah, 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 blah. And it translates to the brown bird that makes a loud noise. <laughs> like, that's how science words work, especially in biology. Um, okay, so Madre Pore up in the top, they have a vascular water system that extends out through all of their arms. That's actually how they move. Uh, sea stars move by hydraulics. <laughs> wow. Like I needed one more reason to love sea stars. <laughs> so each of those little tube feet, they pump water into it. And the pumping of the water is what makes it extend outward. And then they withdraw water and that makes it suction on. Um, so they have control over this whole hydraulic system that extends through all of their arms and it's wow. water pressure that makes it work. So uh, they take in water through the Madre Pore. It's got some oxygen in it. They can also take in water passively through or oxygen passively through their tube feet. Okay, cool. <laughs> that is awesome. Sea cucumbers are kind of interesting for their uh, respiratory system because they have branching dendritic uh lungs basically inside of their bodies and one of their ways that they can defend themselves is they can evert their lungs and just kind of like throw it up on the predator and run away or crawl away but yeah. yeah i think i've heard of this so if you can imagine a 
a mammal or a bird doing this. So like the hawk flies down towards a uh, robin or something, and the robin is just like, <laughs> and then it coughs up its lungs and then flies away. It's like, you take it here. <laughs> lungs. But the lungs detach? Yeah. Do they grow new ones? Yeah, they oh, grow new ones. It just they're takes... echinoderms. Of course they do. Yeah, it that just makes... takes a month. Whoa. It just takes a month or so. But yeah, they're just like, here, take this. I'll make a new one. I didn't need it anyway. Here you go. But wait, how do they breathe if they don't have lungs for a month? They have to passively absorb oxygen for the month. So oh. they probably can't do as much activity. I don't know what sea cucumbers do anyway, but they, <laughs> they're going to have to lay low for a while. <laughs> <laughs> the sea cucumbers are like, hey, can you go out and play? And like, no. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sick. I gotta rest. I need my lungs. Sorry, I gotta, man. I gotta grow new lungs. <laughs> oh, that's what a great. good excuse to avoid a party, though, because you can just be like, sorry. I coughed up my lungs earlier. Like, it, they can't know. They can't check. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so basically we just established that sea cucumbers are the introverts of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I bet nobody invites a sea cucumber to parties. The I would. <laughs> the way that they eat, they like stick out their <laughs> branching tendrils and then they dab it gently on the bottom hoping to pick up some fish poop <laughs> and then bring it all back into their mouth. Like, you want them at your party? I mean, I assume they would be like in a tank because I'm a human and there's air and stuff. So, okay. but, but I mean, it's not really safe for someone to like transport their tank just to bring their sea cucumber to my party. Sure. So what if they did that to your nachos? <laughs> who is the irresponsible person who took the sea cucumber out of their water to eat my nachos? Mm, I guess. Okay. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> Wait, you know how I would bring a sea cucumber to a party? How? Bring the party to the sea cucumber. Oh, fun. Go out in the ocean? I was thinking more like the aquarium. Okay. A little, a little, uh, <laughs> On the I could gather a bunch of people exhibit. to go to the aquarium. Yeah. And you're, you're all like, woo, like we're having a party. And the sea cucumber is like, <laughs> <laughs> But with a party hat. <laughs> okay. Always the hats. <laughs> yeah. Now I got to learn how to make um, water safe party hats. Right, and glue. No. No? You would that's nice that you wouldn't glue a hat to a sea cucumber. No. Do they have like I don't I know they don't have chins, right? But like could I attach a little string? Like tuck it under the sea cucumber? Oh yeah. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. There you go. If you need an <laughs> entrepreneurial venture, party hats for sea cucumbers, Amanda will buy one. Uh and you can just take that. If you want to give me a cut of the money, <laughs> I'd be happy. To, you could give Amanda a discount on uh, sea cucumber hats. That would be really generous of you. But yeah, feel free to have that idea. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. So with that, we'll end our, fir our first edition of Ask a Zookeeper with two zookeepers. Uh, I think it's the 10th Ask a Zookeeper, but we'll start renumbering it at this point. I hope you enjoyed learning a lot about animals and some other things as well. <laughs> learning about us too, and whether we want sea cucumbers at our parties. Uh, but I hope you have a great week and thanks for stopping by this week for learning what makes life awesome. Cool. All right. That, that was more fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it felt more natural because we were talking about sea cucumbers.